opening with the queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. c4 builds a strong center by controlling the important d5 square and creates a square for the knight to come to c3 without blocking the c-pawn. The king's Indian defense prepares to develop the bishop to g7, allowing white to build up a strong center which black will later try to undermine. g3 prepares to fianchetto the light-squared bishop on g2, where it will sit on the long diagonal. bg7 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. bg2 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. This strikes at the center, countering the opponent's ability to grab space. This defends the attacked pawn. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. This protects the attacked pawn. It is the last book move. This misses a much better move. It is a mistake. Forcing the opponent to double their pawns helps create weaknesses. This is the only move that works. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is good. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is excellent. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. One of the best moves. It is excellent. This ignores an opportunity to connect rooks. It is a mistake. This ignores an opportunity to develop a rook off its starting square. It is a miss. This ignores an opportunity to centralize a knight so it controls more squares. It is a miss. This misses an opportunity to develop a rook off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. It is best. This overlooks an opportunity to develop a rook off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. This ignores an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is a mistake. This leads to losing material. It is a mistake. Takes back. It is best. Very precise. It is best. This loses a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. That was a free pawn. It is best. This overlooks a better way to defend a pawn that was under attack. It is a mistake. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning a rook. It is an inaccuracy. That's fine. It is good. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a rook. It is an inaccuracy. This moves the bishop to safety. It is best. This misses an opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a rook. This permits the opponent to activate a rook by getting it to the 7th rank. It is a mistake. This activates a rook by getting it to the 7th rank and also restricts the opponent's king. It is best. This defends a knight that was under attack and had no defenders. It is excellent. This is the strongest option. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. A very strong play. It is excellent. This fights against the opposing rook for the open file. It is best. That pawn was free for the taking. It is best. Right on target. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This wins time by threatening a knight and forcing it to move away. It is good. This wins time by threatening a rook and forcing it to move away. It is best. This attacks a knight, winning a tempo when it moves away. It is best. This defends the attacked knight. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Very precise. It is best. 
This is the strongest option. It is best. This wins a tempo by threatening a knight and forcing it to move away. It is good. This move puts the knight on a safer square. It is excellent. This is an equal trade. It is excellent. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be challenged by opposing pawns as it tries to promote. It is best. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. This makes a passed pawn, meaning no opposing pawn can challenge it on its way to promotion. It is excellent. This pins a bishop to the king. It is best. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. This is a fair move. It is good. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. It is good. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This takes an outpost, an active square where the knight cannot be kicked out by a pawn. It is excellent. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed black in that one. The opening was balanced. White was a cut above black in the middle game. 